The CBO Stuttgart is an official institute for food control. In our department of pesticides analysis, we are handling about 3,000 samples of fruit and vegetables per year. Our scope includes more than 1,000 pesticides in quantitation and additionally about 600 compounds in screening for each sample. Since 2006, we are also hosting the EU reference laboratory for pesticides requiring single residue methods. The analysis of the highly polar pesticides has been challenging from the beginning. And for several years, we have been using the hypercup column. We have tried to implement IC columns in LC systems, which led to some issues, for example, retention time shifts or also double peaks. Well, first of all, when using the hypercarb column, a lot of experience and also a lot of effort in column conditioning is required. And the separation is heavily dependent on the condition of the column. This is especially challenging for labs who are new to pesticides analysis or also for labs who are not regularly analyzing those compounds. Moreover, from an analytical aspect, we are often struggling with intense matrix effects or also retention time shifts or impacts on peak shapes. And regarding the separation on that column, there are also problems observed, for example, with the matrix component phosphate, which is very common in fruit and vegetables. And it leads, for example, to interferences with some of the analytes, especially with phosphonic acid. And all of these aspects affect the sensitivity of that method in the end. 